Just a few weeks ago, the world focused on these men. With two months until the end of Obama's presidency, the US concentrated diplomatic efforts. After drawn-out negotiations, they reached an agreement with Russia on the 10th of September, and with it came hope. Today, the United States and Russia are announcing a plan which, if implemented, if followed, has the ability to provide a turning point, a moment of change. The truce came into force on the 12th of September. Aleppo had a few days of relative calm, but from the outset it was clear that the future of the truce would play out here. Neither the rebels nor the regime wanted to make any concessions. Despite several minor violations, the ceasefire lasted until the 19th of September when Damascus announced its end. A few hours later, as diplomats scrambled to extend it, a UN and Red Cross humanitarian convoy in West Aleppo was hit by an airstrike. The truce was supposed to enable the delivery of humanitarian aid to besieged areas in desperate need. The airstrike ended any hopes of that. Other aid convoys were blocked at the Syrian border and despite numerous attempts, the truce was not restored. Since then, bombs have rained down on Aleppo. The latest struck a large hospital in the city, prompting Washington to change tack with Moscow. While the UN and France in particular endeavour to revive diplomatic efforts, dialogue between the US and Russia is falling on mutual deaf ears. Unfortunately, from the very beginning, there were many who wished to break down the agreements, including from within the US administration. And as you know, yesterday, to our deep regret, those who were against political settlement of the Syrian crisis, against the fulfillment of the relevant UN resolutions, and who have clear plans for solving the situation by force, succeeded. The Syrian regime and Russia seem to have rejected diplomacy in furtherance of trying to pursue a military victory over the broken bodies, the bombed out hospitals, the traumatized children of a long suffering land. People who are serious about making peace behave differently from the way Russia has chosen to behave. Unless diplomacy is restored, there is no solution in sight for the Syrian people. According to the World Health Organization, 342 people, including 106 children, were killed in eastern Aleppo over the last 12 days.